Today I'm in uh, Welling Garden City with Gordon Towner, an old friend of Wabba, and I'm at Norton's Gym, one of the biggest in this part of the country. Gordon, great to see you. And great to see you. And it's a long a, time, mate. 17 years yeah. since yeah. we last got together. Yeah, let's take you in then and show you around. Fantastic, let's have a look at all this kit. Right, let's go. Let's show you around then, Alan. Yeah, if you come with me, okay? And I'll uh, give you a quick guided tour around. This, this area here is actually going to end up as a little restaurant in there. As you know, everyone's always uh, hungry after the train. That's the uh, Joe Miller up there, World Long Drive Champion. Yeah. He's uh, come to us with uh, 15 years at the last year I worked at. So, yeah. We'll have to have him on camera next time, Gordon. Yeah, we'll have to bring him in next we'll time. We'll have to get him see, in here, yeah. mate, and, and uh, see what's what. Just, Got these new champions ladders in. They seem to be popular. How are they going with the trainers? They find it tough? Yeah, very tough. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people they're sort of doing half marathons and things, and three minutes on there, and they're lagging, thinking, oh, it's a bit too much. But a brilliant bit of kit, definitely. So, uh, yeah, you've got your stair horses. Um, we've got a cardio area. So a little pan round then, Gordon. Yeah. What we got? It's just a little therapy room at the end there. Amazing. Amazing, loads of kit. Fix any problems that you got. Yeah. So, Gordon, this must be one of the biggest gyms in the area of the I'd country, imagine, isn't it? Yeah, I'd imagine it's probably one of the best in the country as well. The diversity yeah. of equipment that we've yeah. got here. The yeah. guy that owns it is amazing. He's always bringing new bits of kit in, keeping everyone happy. He hasn't just plonked a load of kit in the gym, reaping the profit sort of thing. He's actually ploughing so much back into it. But you got the, the people love it. We've got people coming from all over. This guy's come from Cambridge. Um, down there, all the way over. Which is miles. So, yeah, absolutely miles. But you know, you can see why when you have a look around. So we've got a stew down here as well. We've been doing the Les Mills classes. Um, and while the classes aren't on, then it's sort of free to any members that can come in and do some stretching or just a bit of quiet time. We've got a punch bag over in the corner. So yeah. Yeah, there's all your sort of kit down there now for your sort of classes. Good logo on the wall as well. Very good Big indeed. Logo. Wonderful. Yeah, and then do you want to have a walk around the main gym? Yeah, let's, gym? let's have a look around the main gym then, yeah, Gordon, and have go. a look and see what uh, what you've got on. Yep, no yeah, problem at all. An old Versa climber there, that's a good old bit of kit, they've been around some years. They're still tough, aren't they? Many of them around they're, they're still yeah, tough, yeah, aren't yeah, they? Time. A lot of boxers use them, <laughs> yeah. sort of upper body strength. Yeah, still a tough machine to use. Yeah, absolutely. And then if you have a wander around, we've got a good selection of hammer strength pin loaded. Has anybody ever good. counted how much stuff you've actually Do got, you know Gordon? What? I, someone was <laughs> asking me the other day, and I, I'd imagine it's got to be 100 bits of kit just uh, in this part. Over, over 100 in this bit. I would have thought so, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Then we've got all that plate loaded stuff. Nice to see we're getting a lot of women in the, in the gym as well as men. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, a lot of them are stronger than the guys nowadays. Not having a go at you. <laughs> <laughs> we're quite strict in here as well about putting your weights away, which is a good thing. As you know, nice. mo most things are uh, in their place. So yes. Uh, and if you come down. It's neat and tidy, easy to oh, use, isn't it? Big time, yeah. Like, it's good for everybody, really. Especially, like I say, you've got a lot of women coming in. They be taking off ten plates that someone else has left on before, so that's a good thing. Yeah. Well, we've got some mad hammer strength equipment here. Nice. Have a look. There's some uh, mad sort of forearm piece of equipment. Some of these are like antiques now. Doing some of the old guys from the sixties would be like to see some of these. They've probably they trained on them, right? Pro here. Probably recognise you from when they first yeah, started. Yeah, when they first started training. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Go that one. Yep, so if you come through this way, this is like all your bench presses. There's a large free weight area across the front as well. We've got a few different kind of leg presses here, vertical, single leg leg press. And then we've got your main kind of heavy duty equipment. Along this side we've got your bench press, uh, your squat racks and your deadlifts. Yeah. So the 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 so we're going to the studio. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's shown as Ramble. So uh, it's fantastic. What what a gym. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of difference to the one we was working at. Um, it's a lot. We did the course together. It's a lot larger, a similar kind of gym. Yeah. It's kind of you know a bit old school. You yeah. Know? I mean, this yeah. one's a bit old school with a slight modern twist on it. Yeah. But um, same principles, you know, I'm still using the weather principles that I learned all that time ago. Have you still got the manual propping up the door? Uh, they're still sitting at home, yeah. It's still, nice. They still use the same principles, basically, nice. yeah. I mean, they still work. So yeah. it's like, you know, you hear all these new faddy ideas coming along, but right from back in the day, you know, at the other gym I was there um, for 20 years, and right the way through there, the youngsters coming there, and they all use the same principles, and now some of them are absolutely amazing physiques we got, and some of them actually moved on over to here. Yeah. So they sort of followed over. And they followed you around where you've gone some and they've come with yeah. you. Yeah, I mean some of them were here and some of them followed afterwards, yeah. So they've Fantastic. come with us, yeah. So was, but it's always helpful in this kind of gym, especially where you're using the yeah. weights and all the machines. Yeah. You know, my knowledge now that I learned from you, thank you. Is um is Pleasure. yeah, it's fantastic, you know. It's great for us because we can see that you're able to deal with such a massive client base here. Well, that's with this right. kind of size gym, you've got everybody, haven't you? You're right from the beginnings, yeah, we get yeah. sort of the young lads yeah, coming in. We start in off national people, shows. yeah, we've got IFBB sort of pros coming in. So, yeah, yeah there's a guy off next week, uh, yeah. the physique guy, uh, Romain Lawrence, but I don't know if you're right. Okay. Okay. He's going to compete in California, I think it is, but yeah. he's been in and even little things, you know, you can help him out and turn different that's bits and pieces. Absolutely. So it's great, yeah, yeah. And interesting, when we was, just before we was talking outside, uh, Gordon, the three of the old guys, your regulars, came out, serious trainers. And as soon as I mentioned about um, my inspiration and the person that started laughing yeah. before me, uh, Serge De Bray, they knew him straight away, they, they knew straight yeah. off, yeah. and ultimate respect for the physique and yeah, we've still the got ideals that we have. Ideas, yeah. Yeah. But they work, yeah. they? You, know, they you can't go back. You can't have a square wheel. You know, you? Absolutely, yeah, that's what we were saying. Yeah, it's so true. You know, yeah. It's like I say, it's always worked. Your body's how it is, it doesn't change. You know, people try and cash in on that and come up with new faddy ideas, but. You know, I've seen all sorts of things, people balancing and squatting at the same time and all sorts of things. Sometimes I'm looking at oh my God, what are you doing? You know, and I go, oh yeah, I learned this new, new idea. I think it's to go in the circus of the fall. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you get your feet on the floor and squat and you, you know, you'll, you'll change your physique. Yeah. It's a, and you'll look different like Yeah, that. absolutely. Yeah. You'll yeah. either be stronger, fitter, yeah. or bigger, yeah. whatever you absolutely. train for. Absolutely. But I mean, the biggest thing is consistency, isn't it? You know, you've got to keep yeah. turning up. That's the main one. Well, if you think, Gordon, it was 17 years ago that we met the last time, the last course yeah. we did together, yeah. um, in that time, and we're still products of it, yeah, and absolutely. we're still doing it. Yeah. No aches and pains, we're, we're there, still as good as new. Um, absolutely, I'm still trying three or four times a and week. And you see these 23 year olds today who've got wrecked elbows, wrecked knees, yeah. through bad techniques, all of that is like three or four years in the gym, mm. and they're wrecked off. Something's wrong, isn't it? Something's wrong with this modern training. Well, There's took, something wrong with it. They've took the standard movement and added a twist here and a movement, and yeah. it just doesn't work, does it? All you're doing yeah. is wearing your joints out, really. Yeah. It's yeah. like you're not working your muscles. So it's, uh, actually, making the muscles work and isolate is the big thing, isn't it? Yeah. Not, not four different joints, but actually just that one muscle group you're trying to train. Yeah. Whether you're shaping it, whether you're trying to build it thicker and deeper, whatever you want, you've got to keep the work on the muscle, not on three or four other yeah. joints around the body. You know, it's bonkers Looking around, but when you show us around the gym here, you've got proper trainers here that seem to be oh, all bit. of the old school too. Oh, there is still a lot of old school trainers in there. Yeah. yeah, you get the new ones coming through. Right? They're more interested in taking pictures of themselves than actually <laughs> training. Yeah. And you, you see a lot when they do a set, they take a picture, have another look, and take a picture. You know, you yeah. still haven't changed. You know, um, why, yeah. why do they take photos every day they come in the gym? Oh, no, or, so I think thinking they're going to look different today yeah, from yesterday. I don't get what, it. What, what is that about? I know, maybe I'm old school, but I don't quite get it. Yeah, so maybe if you go for your maximum length and you want it as a. Yeah, as a maximum Some people want that as a mentor, but a lot of the lads, yeah. a lot of people yeah. the lads and the ladies, they sort of. Um, like this Instagram and that thing. I'm just getting old, but we're getting old. That's all it is. It's <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> but we don't want to admit that to no, those people watching no, no, this. No. <laughs> So true, though, isn't it? Yeah, some people come in, a lot of the older guys are like that. They're saying, yeah. What's all this camera stuff about? I've got to do a picture. I know. I, know. I cannot believe it because no. you can be concentrating on your own recovery yeah. 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 and you're training if you're too busy taking photos. Yeah, see, so. I think all phones should be left at the counter. That's yeah. it. Get Absolutely. them to do your training Absolutely. when you finish and you Absolutely. can talk to people. You know what I mean? It's like two separate things. Well, that one hour, Gordon, that, that is sacred, isn't it? 
with that's that intensity. That's the intensity what that makes a big difference. One or two muscle groups. Bang, yeah. done, out. Yeah, I mean, you can Don't have a training partner, have a bit of a laugh on yeah. the playground, but yeah. Yeah, it's, you know, it's just something to go outside on your phone to take a yeah. call. To me, it's like, no, no, no. It's a no, <laughs> yeah, no okay. That's why no one can get me in the morning. When I'm in the gym early, yeah. like, before work starts, you know, if the phone rings, it rings, but it just carries on ringing. Yeah. It'll go around. So it's yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm the same. Because we just don't want it. It yeah. stays behind the counter yeah. and not going to do your training, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. 100%. Well, I know one thing for sure, Gordon, it's been brilliant coming here today. Yeah, it's been and we're going to have to come down and see you more often. Yeah. Uh, but also maybe do something together here at some stage. Yeah. And that would be absolutely brilliant. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. I'm in this space now, don't I? Yeah, There's enough space there. out there. So, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, put it to the boss and see what he says. Yeah, yeah. You've got rooms at the back as well, yeah. the cardio stations as well. There's rooms there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's another room. Yeah. But lovely, lovely to thank see you. Thank you, Gordon. And thank you. Thank, no, you. thank, thank you. you. You changed my life. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thanks for the testimonial. There you go. Yeah, Gordon well, Downer well. is the manager of Norton's Gym in Welling Garden City. It's one of the biggest gyms in this area of the country. If you're in the area, drop in and see it. Yeah. You won't have a bad workout here. It's all good. And um, thanks very much until next time, and there'll be another other interview. Thank you.